Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back. My name's Michelle, if you don't know my name. Um, yesterday was Mother's Day, so if any of you are moms, whether it's to human babies or fur babies, happy Mother's Day. I'm a mom. Unfortunately, my children are a thousand miles away, so I got to talk to them on the phone instead of seeing them, but that's okay. That is quite all right. I'll see them soon. So anyway, happy Mother's Day. So today's video, why Mike and I chose to get rid of cable T cable. See, you know, I can never just talk without futzing it up. <laughs> why we chose to get rid of cable TV. So first would be our desire to live a more intentional life or a more minimalist lifestyle. So the first reason was avoiding the advertising. When you sit and you watch television, did you know that statistically, you can look this up, statistically about one third of your time watching TV from time A to time B is, <coughs> excuse me, is spent watching advertising. And all this advertising is designed to make you feel insecure and make you feel like you have to have these products or these pills or the experiences to make you a complete person. The advertising is horrible nowadays. Before you get rid of your cable, take some time to really focus on the commercials and just see what they're doing. You know, see how these commercials are designed to make you feel like a bucket of crap until you buy their product and all of a sudden you're the happiest, freest, most happy-go-lucky person in the world. So yes, tired of the advertising. Absolutely hate it. So cut the cord, cable gone. Second reason, out of everything that's on the television, how much of it is worthwhile programming? Like, think about it. How much is really worth watching as opposed to junk TV? For example, I remember when I was growing up, you had the sitcoms, you had the, the, good, pro, the good programming that showed the family unit and everybody was, was happy. And if there was a problem, it was a, it was a minor problem they could fix in this half hour sitcom. Now everything today is reality television. Like what happened to the good sitcoms? They're gone. Everything is a reality TV. Well, all reality TV is is someone living their life, whether it be a fake life made for reality TV. It's just someone living their life. Well, why do you want to sit and watch someone else live their life when you can just be out living your own life? I just didn't find that there was anything worth watching. There are a few good programs out there, but there are other ways to watch them that you don't have to spend the monthly fee to do it. Which leads me to the third reason that we just got rid of cable, and that was the money. The money. Huge. We're saving almost $100 a month. That's $1,200 a year. I don't, I don't know about you, but the programs that I was watching, was it worth $100 a month? I basically was watching three channels, HGTV, the Travel Channel, and the Food Network. That's kind of it. Was that worth $100 a month to me? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So yeah, the money savings, huge. Number four, what are you doing when you watch TV? Now, maybe some of you are doing something like walking on your treadmill while you're watching TV. You got your body going. You're not just sitting. That's awesome. But I would think the majority of people are sitting in their recliners, their couches, their chairs, laying on the floor, laying in their beds, whatever. And they're just sitting, which creates that whole sedentary lifestyle, which is bad for your health. It just is. So is there anything about TV that's good for you physically? Absolutely not. Fifth reason we got rid of cable TV. TB. Michelle just cannot talk this morning. <laughs> Fifth reason that we cut cable out of our lives. 
It's caused us to be more productive. TV sucks you in. You know, you'll sit down, you'll say, you know what, I'm just gonna take a half hour, sit, relax, watch a TV show that I like, and then I'll get up and do what I was planning on doing. What happens? Four hours later, after you sat down, you think to yourself, why did I just do that? Why did I even turn the TV on? I've gotten nothing done. It's been a completely unproductive evening. And you go to bed feeling crappy because you got nothing done that you set out to do and you spent your entire evening just sitting. That TV just sucks you in. As soon as it comes on, it sucks you in. And it's designed to do that. The programs are set up to that's their goal is to suck you in and then you get to watch all the advertising I encourage you to you're on YouTube now watching me but in the YouTube search bar I have to sneeze in the YouTube search bar just type in the word consumerism and watch some of those videos that pop up it's very interesting you actually learn how TV and advertising is set up to kind of destroy you. Um, so very enlightening to watch. And the last reason that we get rid of cable TV is that Mike and I have chose to spend our downtime focusing on each other instead of focusing on a screen. We will sit and play a game together. We will sit outside and talk to each other. It's forced us to communicate much more not that we didn't and not that we were tv junkies we weren't people who would sit for hours and watch tv now again i love a good movie and we have no problem with sitting on our recliners with some popcorn and watching a good movie together we think that's quality time as well but if it's just a movie you either pop it in your dvd player you watch it on netflix whatever you turn it on when it's over it's over it's done the advertising is not there to distract you and make you feel bad and it's given us a lot more a lot more quality time together so that all comes back to as i'm saying all this why we've gotten rid of cable it comes back to that that um one inspirational quote that I had on my vision board if you watched the vision board video that says every second that you live is a precious gift that you can't get back don't waste it so every minute that you are sucked into that television watching something that's mindless those minutes are now gone and you can't get them back that's just a part of your life that's gone and you can't get it back now yes there is some good programming out there and yes, you can explore alternatives to cable. We have, you know, we have the Google Chromecast. It was a one-time purchase of $39.95. It's plugged into my TV. I watch Netflix. So we, we stream our documentaries onto the large television. Um, if there is a, a TV show that, that comes on, you can watch it on Netflix, on Hulu. Um, a lot of the major networks like ABC, CBS, they have apps that you can put on your mobile devices and you can stream a lot of your television shows that way um, and movies. So it gets rid of the advertising and like even with Netflix, it's $7.99 a month. Here with our taxes, we pay $8.47 a month for Netflix. That is a far cry from $100 a month for what we were paying for cable. And I'm pretty much watching everything that I wanted to watch. So when I called to get rid of the cable, this was my conversation with the gentleman on the phone. I said, I'm calling because I'm considering cable, getting rid of my cable because I cannot stand paying this obnoxious fee anymore. So he asked me what, what I watch. I said, I really don't watch any TV. I watch HGTV, home, uh, HGTV, Travel Channel, and Food Network are my primary channels and my husband watches Velocity for the car shows. Well, he starts going through, well, ma'am, I could save you $10 a month. You could still keep those channels and I can add in Showtime. And I'm like, okay, what didn't you understand? I don't want anything else. This is all I want. You're only going to save me $10 a month and give me more crap. You're not getting it. 
So he tried a couple more things, and then he wanted to reduce my internet speed. Right now I have the fast internet. So saving me the $10 a month was also gonna put me on the turtle internet, super slow. I'm like, no, this is not working. He's like, well, that's all I have to offer you. I'm going to transfer you to our retention team. Maybe they have something else to try to retain your business, whatever. So he transfers me to someone else and he starts this whole spiel. Well, ma'am, um, you know, what do you watch? And I told him, um, and he's given me all these different programs. Bottom line is it wasn't saving me anything. And I said, you know what? Everything that I watch on TV, I could go back and watch it on the internet, the same show. Why do I need to keep cable? Well, you, ma'am, you can't watch it in real time then. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? Well, if there's a TV program that you like and it airs on Wednesday night, if you wait and watch it on the internet, you're not gonna be able to watch it when everyone else is watching it. Okay, is that, really? <laughs> I'm like, okay, really? I said, I could go back and watch something from the travel, tra travel channel that's five years old. It doesn't matter to me. I don't need to watch it when everyone else is watching it. That is not worth $100 a month. I'm like, you know what? I'm going with my, I'm, oh, and then I, I said about Velocity with my husband watching his car shows on Sunday mornings. It's kind of his time. Well, do you want to check with your husband first before you cancel his car programming? I said, again, he could probably find all this on the internet. I'm like, nope, you know what? I'm going with my gut instinct, cut the cable. What about sports, ma'am? You can't find that stuff later on. I said, you know what? I'm blessed with a man who doesn't watch it. So end of discussion. Cable gone, they didn't like it. I have received a lot of phone calls in the last several weeks from Comcast calling me from different numbers on my cell phone. I don't answer them, but then I Google the phone number later. And sure enough, it's Comcast. They're trying to get me back. And it just, it just becomes a vicious circle and I'm just not being a part of it anymore. If I wanna watch something worthwhile, if I can't find it on Netflix, if it's not an actual TV program or a, a film, then I'm on YouTube. I learn more from you guys and some of the people that I watch and the comments that you give me on my videos. I enjoy those, I enjoy those, and I learn more from those than I do anything I've ever watched on TV programming. So that's it. I'm going to stop rambling because you know I could just keep going blah, 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 blah most of the day. So thank you so much for joining me and I encourage you, cut the cable. Just cut the cable. It's so worth it. Bye.